Happy Thursday, everybody. This is your girl, Crystal Jordan, with Rolling Out Reality Check, and we are in the mood of celebrating Black Music Month. And today we have something very special for you guys. If you are a lover of go-go music, you are definitely going to want to tune in for this interview. If you're just a lover of black music, period, and black expression, um, today's uh, episode is entirely dedicated to TV One's new documentary titled The Beat Goes On. It actually is going to air on June 21st. But today I have two of the participants of the documentary chiming in with me today. I have Anwan Big G Glover, who is already here and we're waiting on DJ Cool to, to jump on. And we're gonna talk about this documentary and just the impact of go-go music and how all of this is a great timing to talk about not only Black Music Month, but everything that's going on and how Black expression has always been a way. Music has always been one of the key factors in Black expression. So I'm gonna jump, uh, go ahead and join, uh, have Big G join us here. Hey, Big G. Hey. What's going on? What's up, Crystal? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for taking time to join uh, today. How are you? I'm blessed. Blessed. Woke up this morning. Still got a lot of things to get accomplished. You're always up. Just trying to get more and more movement with my city and the music in my city. Absolutely. Well, this was like you said, we were talking a little bit earlier. This was long overdue. Um, there are so many people that have, I mean, go-go music is like its own entity, right? <laughs> it is like it's its own, yeah. its own genre um, of music and especially with Af in African American culture. We all know about it. Um, but I think DC definitely owns it and, and make sure that that uh, it's the authenticity of the music stays there in DC. Talk about this documentary, The Beat Goes, The Beat Don't Stop, and how you got involved being one of the originators uh, of go go music. Yeah, The Beat Don't Stop. Well, Bo Sampson kind of reached out. I've been knowing Bo Sampson, uh, one of the producers for years. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and Bo Sampson always had those talks about really spreading the music beyond DC, letting the rest of the world know how hard we work here. And um, he was asking me just to grab a few people that had like, that was the younger kids in Go-Go. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's a little younger than me. So I just was like, you know, I'm always connected to the street and yeah. connected to our music. So I introduced him to a few of the young guys like Chris from T.O.B. Mm -hmm. just to get things moving with the documentary. But I think it was a collective effort with people putting together and, and, and tag teaming with Bo to really get this thing together. And I, I really commend TV One for taking the time to really be able to spread this word and to spread our culture with the regentrification in our city, what's really going on right now. Right. And all this stuff with COVID and the George Floyd thing. It's a time where black is super powerful as always, but we have that, that media platform now to really yeah. put it out and really let people really know what's really going on underground here in our city. Yeah. Well, I, that was, you know, you mentioned what I was actually going to go to next. I mean, because of what's going on right now um, with, I mean, with outside, just, just the entire world with yeah. African-American culture. And we see the, 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 with COVID and the effects of COVID, it looks like the effects of COVID are longstanding systematic racism in the healthcare industry and and just and, and, and employment, all that is all coming to fruition right now. And then, of course, the police, mur the murders, the constant police brutality and murders of African-American men. How have how, what responsibility do you think um, creators like yourself with music and art have um, on being able to really share that expression and be a part of the movement um, in our culture to, to get to, to, to create change? I think putting the message out even more. It's like people, they put them, them commercials all about cigarettes and video games and things of that nature. Um, more artists need to push it out more. Not yeah. just when something happened. That's when our brother or our sister get killed from not putting their hands up or a car pull over in the car and get shot. I think we need to put the message out more. And yeah. a lot of times this documentary is going to help that too because I, I kind of talked about a bunch of different scenarios where we really don't get the radio play as we should yeah. with the message of both go, go music and we put the, we make the songs and they don't play the songs. Right. But I think artists like myself, we just need to keep on pushing more on just putting out original music to get the message spread. Because oh, the more yeah. we say about this brutality and what's going on with black on black, with the po even with black on black crime, with the police killing, killing us, 
we need to really spread it more. Just make yeah. make it a ritual. Like when you get up every day, just keep preaching it more yeah. and more. Not just when something happened, like all the time. Just like mm -hmm. you gotta get out and vote. Yeah. You gotta you gotta know you're voting for it. This gonna fight for the cause and really we, we need like to fight for our people in our hoods. Yeah. And our, and our, and our um neighborhoods. Right. Well, I thought we had um I thought we had DJ Cool, but I but it does it, it, okay, let's see if we can let's see if we can add him to this conversation um right now. I think he's he's still connecting, but um I think everything you said is true. I think that um go go music and especially the movement that you guys have had in DC, you've been able to be a part of really keeping your voices, making your voices heard. You know, there was a um, a movement of don't, I think it was don't mute DC. Um, yeah. You guys were able to really use the music as a platform. And I want you to speak a little bit about that because I wasn't aware of it. Um, and I think that it, it almost sets like a template for what we should be looking towards today. Yeah. So speak a little bit about that and how you guys were able to cover that in the documentary. Well, what I think um, with don't mute this, this, like I said, it was the perfect time. And like, it was some new, um, some new people in the city, some new gentrifiers that uh, moved over the top of the uh, um, Metro PCS, which used to be just like the, 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 the stone, it's still the stone right there where they play the music every day. It was a record store and uh, it's, a, it's a, um, a phone store now. Mm -hmm. And they was just like, turn the music off. And that kind of pissed everybody <laughs> off. And Ron, Ron Moten and um, Natty Hopkins, they they got petitions signed. And we fought for our music, man, right there on the corner. That music, like, that's historical right there. Yeah. So we, we, we was kind of, we was peed off. A lot of people was peed off. But like they say, everything happened for a reason. It went national with it. And um, all the way to... EU and Rare Essence, I'm with James Funk and Sugar Bear performing at the BET Awards. Uh -huh. And it was crazy. And, and the push just kept on going. But it's like more people coming out of the city, you just got to you gotta really do your math and your homework for where yeah. you're moving at. You know what I mean? This right. is our music. This is our city, our culture. And we're not going anywhere. But it's like, you know, we have a lot of people that appreciate our music. And a lot of people really will appreciate it if they really take the time to really try to figure out and understand what it's about. Cause we yeah. have, we have a lot of history in our music. Yeah. Well, I think this is a great, like I said, it's black music month. Uh, so it's a great time to really talk about that. When I hear go, go music, yeah. it, it's just, it feels, it's like a feeling, you know what I mean? I don't know exactly it's what a feeling. You, just, you nailed it. It's a feeling. You got to come and watch it. Like a lot of times if you breezing through from out of town and you hear it on the radio, you, you ain't going to really get it. You turn the yeah. channel. If you're not, if you're not tuned into our culture and our music, like when you go to New Orleans, you hear something on the radio, you're not too familiar with, you want to tune into something that you really know, you yeah. know? So not unless you really see the frontline steppers and the Mardi Gras and they really stepping and, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? They high five and they putting the beads on your neck and they praying. You yeah. really want to understand what's going on. So, you know, right. you have to really do the history. And we have a lot to offer right here in Washington, D.C., a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's, it's interesting because D.C. is such a, a birthplace of African American history, and yet right now, uh, with 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 uh, our with number forty five in office, D.C. is also the place where there's a lot of. Um, Thank you. Thank you for saying number forty five. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say anything else right now. It's kind of yeah. like you know, we we don't know what's going on, but how how do you, how can we? I, I want to make a, a, a have you speak to that just. What is that conflict like? Because you have all this history and and black power and pride, and yet we know that at this point, this is yeah. this this president has divided our our nation more than possibly anyone yeah. in our lifetime. So he how do you find that? How is go go music and even just black expression able to deal with that right now? What's going on there? It's it's, it's super hard, man. He made it. He forty five made it so rough for everybody. Like. We try not like a lot of people. I I got friends of all all walks of life, yeah. All all different backgrounds: Ethiopian, white, Chinese. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We we were born. We were born right here. You know what yeah. I mean? We went to yeah. school. You know what I mean? We went DC public school. We had Spanish. We had every like just when you're trying to get more to come together, he dividing us. The yeah. Great Depression. You know what I mean? Civil rights. He taking it back to, to, to like, when he said make America great again, I think that's what he was meaning, where he was trying to take it back to 
everybody against each other. Mm-hmm. And it's sad. But you know what I mean? Like right here, I try to tell my comrades and people, because I'm, I'm also an actor, I try to tell people like far as my music. Yeah. In Washington, D.C., it's a lot of people just like, oh, man, it's just Capitol Hill, the White House. We got so much more to offer. Mm-hmm. And I just say, come in like what, what uh, Muriel Bowser just did with down there at Trump Plaza. I am in 45 Plaza when she made it. It was uh, it's Black Lives Matter Plaza now. Yeah, yeah, we so saw that. It. Was a beautiful, that was a beautiful thing. And now I'm watching on CNN. All of the other cities are doing it, but right here in Washington D.C., where well, we still are fighting for because it's taxation without representation, yeah. and we're still not noted as a city. So you know what I mean? We're fighting for that 51st, and we're in, in statehood, and it's just crazy. So we we going through a lot. But well, we we kind of sticking together harder than ever. But it's like with me, with our music being a go go artist, we haven't not not none of my comrades. We haven't eaten in four months. No money in four months. Yeah, and yeah. we still we digging in savings, paying bills. But we we smile through it all because I feel like my grandmother told me, don't let nobody depress you and don't stress get stress out. You'll yeah. get gray hairs and you will die young. You know <laughs> right. what I mean? So I look at yeah. it and I smile, man. I know the fans still right there and they love us. Mm-hmm. It's not just only one. It's not about one band. It's about yeah. it's about all the bands in the city. Junkyard, Red Asses, T.O.B., oh, T.C.B., everybody. I can't name everybody. New Impressions, Frank Serious Company, um, oh man, Team Familiar. There's so many bands in the city um, that really bring different elements to what yeah. we have to bring in our city. And we work together, and we 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 just sticking together right now. I just wish. 44 was still there. <laughs> we, <laughs> all, we all do. I, we all do. We all do. Uh, because he made it so much. Hope. Even when it was bad, he, we would still be able to smile. You know. Yeah. Well, this this is just brought out. I think it having someone like this in office brought out how much division there is that we didn't even know. You know, and it's just making it worse. Yeah. I, I want to ask you this because I thought it was so. It's the the documentary is so beautifully done. Yes. Um, it really captures it really captures the the, the feel of DC, not Washington, but DC. You know, there's a difference in that. Yes, yeah, chop, <laughs> chop the city, chop the city. <laughs> why, why was it important? Um, I love and I love the fact that that Kathy Hughes and TV One is telling this story. How important was it for you uh, to be a part of something? that is African-Americans telling our own story as opposed to another network, you know, sharing it. But for it to be TV one, it feels like it's our, it's our culture, it's our music, it's our story, it's our network. How important was that for you when uh, you guys, you know, became involved with the project? I, first of all, I say about time. <laughs> when I smiled, I was happy. I had tears and everything because like, it's hard. Like when I'm out of town, I go everywhere and I try to tell people about my music and, like now I'm pushing it like June 21st, TV yeah. one. Yeah. You can really see it. Yeah. And, it's, and it's, it's a blessing that Mrs. Hughes and Alfred Lakers, they they was like, okay, we're going to do this. You know what I mean? And Bo, he kept pushing at it. And I know the other producers, I don't want to mess nobody's name up, but I have a personal relationship with Bo because he knew me as a, like when I was young and working in right. radio with, with Radio 1 and um the PGC side. Mm-hmm. And this is so huge. And it's like, it's a breath of fresh air, like a weight yeah. lifted off my shoulder that the world will finally be able to tune in and see. Because yeah. like I was born here, I'm from here. I was born right on the, the campus grounds of Howard University at Freeman's Hospital. Wow. Which, which is now classrooms and um on, on the campus of Howard University. So it's, it's just a blessing to be able to say, hey, this is my city, this is my music. Cause when I go on to New Orleans, I film in New Orleans. I got friends in New Orleans, and they be like, "What that go go about there, boy? What y'all doing up there? What y'all doing in D.C. besides making a law, breaking a law?" You know what I'm saying? So they'll be able to, you know. What I mean, I already sent out emails to people, text messages, and I got everybody. And I'm gonna do a big blast. I'm gonna get all the people. Like y'all really need to tune in to June yeah. 21st to really see what's going on with this. You know, I know other people have been doing documentaries, but this right here is one that you can really sit home and and be thankful and be like, hey, okay, got you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know it's probably many more to come because I'm going to do a life story of my life. I hope TV One catch the pass and be able to sit down with me to, to do the meeting when I wanted to put mine, when put mine out in the future coming. 
But yeah. this is something huge right here. I'm I'm so excited and I'm I'm really I'm really blessed that that I was like was I was being able to be a part of this. Yeah, yeah. I think that every DJ I know, uh every music lover needs to be tuned in. It's actually yeah. premiering on Father's Day. Father's Day this year, June 20th. Yeah, that's a good Yeah, so the good fathers like me, that'll be a good that'll be a good gift cuz hey, right now we got a social distance I'm gonna put something, I'm gonna put it on the screen out here, out my back. Yeah. I'm watch it, I'm gonna DVR it for I can watch it again. Because yeah. that's what I do. I like to watch it. And then I like the DVR for I can go back and study. Yeah. And watch it. And that's how I do my stuff. Yeah. This is gonna, well, gonna be music, dope. music lovers are definitely gonna wanna do that. This is a it's a classic. Like I said, I had a chance to to watch it before as a classic piece. And you know, anyone that is connected to the music is definitely gonna wanna be a part of it. Anyone who has heard it and un doesn't understand the, the 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 heart and soul of it is definitely going to want to to tune in um, and hear. Yeah. So I wanted to, I wanted to get DJ Cool, and it looks like he's having some trouble still getting connected to the. Come broadcast. on, Cool! I know you got that Wi-Fi. <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get him connected, but you holding it down, Big G, holding it down for us. If you're just joining us, this is Crystal Jordan with Reality Check, and we are celebrating Black Music Month with TV One. TV One has a new documentary that's going to premiere on Sunday, June 21st, 8 p.m. Eastern, titled The Beat Don't Stop. It is dedicated completely to the love and the history of go-go music and, and how go-go music has been able to have uh, to create social platforms for gentrification. We talked a little bit about that. I want you to talk a little bit more about that, Big G. Um, but just classism and so many issues in the African-American community there in D.C. We talked about, you, you mentioned gentrification, and I think that that is happening across the country um, just like it is in D.C. But talk a little bit about that and how um, you all were able to kind of touch on that and go-go music has been able to be a part of that conversation. You got me? Yep, I can hear you. Can you hear me? My video. Let me see. I can't hear you. We can see you. We can see you. We just can't hear you. We just, Do I we touch audio? Hold up. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. I yep. can't hear you. Hold on. Okay. We had a we're having technical difficulties, you guys, just because this is such what, a what do I <laughs> <laughs> no I get I can't like I can't hear you no more. You can't hear. Let me see if I can take him out and put him back in. Hold on. Oh, they can't, oh, okay. Hold on, let me see. Live uh, live interviews. This is how live interviews go. If you guys are just tuning in, I want to, uh, to, to well, hopefully we can welcome Big G back. Um, he's trying to, to get his, his system set up, but we've had a great interview. I want to encourage you all to please be a great family event for this Father's, this Father's Day coming up, Sunday, June 21st, to uh, tune in to TV One's The Beat Don't Stop, complete celebration, like I said, about the history of go-go music and how uh, the, the the musicians in DC have really taken the music and it's, it's their art form, it's their way of expression, and they've been able to um, be a part of other conversations utilizing the music. So TV One did an amazing job. Um, as I said, it's always great when we can be a part of telling our own stories, own our own stories and our own voices. I want to thank DJ Cool. Hopefully we'll get a chance to have him chime in on rolling out later. Uh, I want to thank Big G for his conversation. You guys, please support. Please support. Please hashtag. Um, look it up. The, the Beat Don't Stop. You can hashtag The Beat Don't Stop. You can go to at TV1 on Instagram and uh, find out more about it. I'm sure it's going to, it's going to air at 8 p.m. It's going to have a, uh, it's going to, it's going to have a, a um, actually going to have another premiere right after that. And I'm sure it'll be on, uh, on the network, but we want to make sure that we support Sunday at 8 p.m. so that the ratings show that we are in support of our stories. Thank you so much, Big G. Thank you to, be, uh, to, to DJ Cool that wasn't able to join us today, but like I said, we're going to definitely have to connect him with rolling out so you guys can hear a little bit from him. He's one of the, the DJs that was responsible for really introducing go-go music 
to a, big, a much bigger audience with his song, Let Me Clear My Throat, introduced the country um, to the, the phenomenon that is go, go Music there in DC. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you to Big G. Um, thank you to TV One. And of course, this is your girl, Crystal Jordan with Rolling Out, and I will see you guys next time.